What's happening YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day. Why? Because we're talking maintenance. Oh, maintenance time. If uh, any of you noticed, I did do a poll uh, to see essentially what chores I should do first. And uh, I got a dirty one for you today. I uh, got a bunch of new subscribers. I appreciate you all. If you're new here, don't be afraid to smash that like and uh, leave me a comment and let's chit chat if you got any questions. Um, and I do have some shout outs uh, to people who have uh, recently made comments. Matt Dowling, RZ, The Mighty Cyrix, Angie Moore, and K-Man. Welcome all. Happy you're here. All right. So let me walk you through this scenario. You're trying your first dirty tank. You put your dirt in there. You put your layer of sand over the top. You filled it with water, put all your plants in there, you go to sleep, and the next day you wake up, and what do you see? Ah! A dirt explosion. Psh! Dirt has escaped, and you've just got muddy, icky water. Well, there, your options are limited, but there are a couple. Uh, now, this one's my tank. Now, mine happened over time. My fish are, are in it. Uh, mine happened from uh, all of the plants I had been pulling. I had a bunch of jungle ballastinary in there, and over several years of pulling ball out of there, I disturbed the surface all the way across, and dirt started getting out that way. It's been like that for like six months. Yeah, I procrastinated a bunch, and that's just because I could. It's dirt. It's it's harmless. It doesn't hurt the fish. They're fine. They like it cloudy like that anyway, actually. That's what the bottom of a lake looks like. Look, this is what it looks like under a blue light. Um, just all fun. So the first thing is, is, Man, my water was muddy. First, you need to remove uh, all your plants, and there's a reason why. So uh, right here, uh, I had already gone in, removed all the plants. That re uh, muddied up the water, so the water is just super brown right here. And then, uh, and then secondly, you need to, uh, well, you don't need to, but I took this as an opportunity to go ahead and revitalize uh, my soil. So I know it's hard to see in this and video, just, but I'm sprinkling Osmocote across the bottom. And then right after that, I've got a submerged cup of blasting sand and I'm trying to pour it. Uh, so <laughs> uh, it's really hard to, to see that. Uh, but I, I'm going to demonstrate here in just a second um, how to do it. It was just, it's too dark on camera, but I could see what I was doing. Because um, yeah, it's going to be muddy and murky for a bit. and You're going to have to wait for things to calm down. So right now, it's been two days to show you what I'm about to show you now. Um, you know, what to do with your plants and how to pour the, the sand so you can see what it looks like uh, clearly. So uh, let's take a break and then let me show you what it looks like now, what I had to do with the plants, and then a better view of what it looks like as you're pouring the sand. Now, uh, I had to do this all the way across my tank. You know, if you just started your tank and you just, you notice there's just a tiny hole that had formed where some sand uh, uh, dirt had escaped you can patch that hole but if a hole formed there it's probably going to happen somewhere else so you do need a whole new layer of sand but uh, anyway give me a second I'm going to trim the roots they will grow new ones alright lay the roots down flat and simply just cover them up. Your plant will find its will find its way to the dirt. That's what they do. They're experts at it. I promise.
thanks everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, all, all the fish survived. No, no one was harmed. They weren't uncomfortable. There were no spikes in ammonia or anything like that. You, you, your only other option in this situation is, because I had fish, I have fish, I would have had to have uh, pulled them all out, put them in a five-gallon bucket, drain out all the water, and then start over that way. Uh, only this time add more sand than you did the first time, obviously. But um, personally, I, I felt it would be more stressful to my fish to do that, uh, and because I could. They're, the dirt is completely harmless to, to the fish. So... And it was cloudy most of the time, so as I was putting the plants back in there, they couldn't even, they were oblivious to what I was doing anyway. Uh, and all the plants that were in there are the same plants that I used. I just, you know, that's just how nasty it looked before. So, But I got to reorganize everything. I did add that one piece of dragonstone. I always have extra pieces of dragonstone. It never hurts to have extra stuff. Driftwood, uh, some of this stuff I just found out in the woods. Oh, and then potting your plants, these should look familiar. I didn't go buy these. I mean, well, technically I did. Just every time I get, you know, aquatic plants, I save the cups and I save the rock wool. So, you know, save everything in the hobby. You never know when it might be useful for something. So, and there we go. Uh, did I miss anything? Well, I hope that helped you all. And I look forward to seeing you all in the future. And if you're having a bad day, get up and do something about it.